five, four, three, two, one. This is Light Camera Super Action. She is Claudia and I am His Victor. And today is a very important day in our calendar. Today is May the 4th. Be with you. May the 4th be with you. And today is Guardians of so the, the Galaxy, Galaxy time. Volume 3. Yeah, Volume 3 time. And the last one. What are your expectations for this eagerly awaited movie? Well, I expect a roller coaster full of emotions, adventures, funny moments, tears, tears, lots of tears, lots uh, of tears, bring your cleanups, uh, yeah, because, you know, James Gunn, who's the director, um, has to bring one of the best movies he has ever made, so, and he just put his, all, all his, he just put his all in, in this movie. And Marvel needs a big movie after after Thor Love and Thunder, after uh, Ant Man and the Wasp Quantumania. It seems like some fans are starting to lose faith, but we haven't lost faith. We trust James Gunn, we trust Marvel, we trust Kevin Feige, and I think this movie is going to be very special. Yeah, that's true. So, um, how long is this movie? I have no idea, Me but it doesn't either. matter. Doesn't matter. We will give you our honest opinion once we get to our sanctum sanctorum, our headquarters, our bad cave. Na 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 na. So see you later. See you later. Bye bye. We are no longer, of course, we're no longer in the, the theater. We are in our secret headquarters, our sanctum sanctorum. Our, our bat cave. <laughs> our bat cave. After watching Guardians, Guardians of, of the, the Galaxy, Galaxy Volume, Volume 3. 3. What do you think about this movie? I simply love it. Very, very much. You should go and see it. I mean, it's highly recommended. I love the colorful scenes. I love the actors. Um, I love the story. The story, it all makes sense. And warning, if you miss a detail of this movie, you will get lost for the rest of the movie because there are many things happening at the same time. It is a roller coaster ride full of drama, strong drama, Dark drama, uh, uh, comedy, Tra action, tragedy. adventures, tragedy, everything happening at the same time. So, yeah, many of these tragic events might be based on real life situations because they are that strong and that dark. Mm. I mean, uh, yeah, I don't think the situations I don't think there were PG-13 but that's all I can say but I love the movie from volume 1 2 and 3 volume 3 is my favorite wow. really yeah that's how much I love the movie wow. the villain oh my god the villain is so good in his acting he's not good at all you know but his 
um, this actor is wow. He was made for this role. He was amazing. Adam Warlock. Well, I uh, when I saw the trailer, I thought I was not gonna like him, but in the movie, yes, it got my attention. It was really nice. Will Poulter um, uh, played Adam Warlock. Um, the actor uh, who played um, High Evolutionary, uh, his name is Chuk Woody Jiwudi. Iwuji. Iwuji. Sorry, sorry, Iwuji. Iwuji. Mispronounced? I mean, yeah. sorry if I mispronounce his name. Is I would say that he's uh, probably not counting Thanos because Thanos oh, is one of the. He only showed up meanest. in a cameo in, uh, in part one, but he has to be the best. The best Guardians of the Galaxy villain of yeah, all three movies. He's one of the meanest. Not to say he's, no, he's, he's, he's the, the meanest, meanest, he's the meanest. of all. I mean, he's strong. <laughs> but anything else? Well, I love the movie. So what do you think? I still love Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 more than anything else. But... It's because I feel it's one of the best movies of the 21st, 21st century. This one is very close. It's a great movie. You can tell that James Gunn is at the top of, of his game in terms of producing, writing, and directing. He is just amazing. He gives his cast moments to shine, all of them, get their moments to shine. Even his brother Sean, who plays Kraglin, who you think he's a, he's a, he's a loser? Well, not anymore. <laughs> and, uh, but the, what I like about this movie, it's different from the first two. In the first two, Peter Quill was clearly the protagonist. But, um, and uh, Gamora and Rocket, we're, we're, we're number two. But here, we follow Rocket's story, not so much in the present, but through flashbacks. And his story is very sad and very it's tragic. tragic. It's strong. It's very dark. But by seeing it, you love him even more. Yeah. Because we, I love all the Guardians. But I and I love Rocket, but I love Rocket so much more after watching this. I'd say that Guardians of the Galaxy with with Volume Three, Volume Three, I'm sorry, has just become perhaps the top comic book trilogy of all time. To me, tied with the Captain America trilogy. Wow. And if you remember, Captain America had the Winter, the first Avenger. Winter Soldier and Civil War. Three, two great movies and one very good. A very good one. Guardians has a, a very good one, Volume 2, and an amazing number one, Volume 1, and an amazing Volume 3. This, you, I would say that you have to hurry and see this movie in the biggest, the loudest theater you can get. Uh, we saw it in a Dolby, Dolby Atmos uh, theater, and the sound was beautiful. Oh, by the way, the sound, the playlist. The playlist was amazing. And there's no one who uses music, no, no other movie director, who uses music as effectively, as scene-enhancing as James Gunn. Like, for instance, if you, if you watch Thor, Love, and Thunder, the songs were a distraction mostly. Most of them were a distraction. Here, each song enhances the, the mood of, of the scene uh, James Gunn is, is uh, showing us. I'm really happy because those who were um, predicting comic book uh, movie f uh, fatigue, fat chance, guys, ain't gonna happen. This thing is going to be huge and the flash is going to be huge too uh, but this movie is great it's gonna be big it's gonna blow a lot of minds so i'd say um, it's highly recommended 
Yes, it is highly recommended. I made an observation. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1 is more centered in Peter Quill's Definitely. mother. Yeah. Um, this Volume 2 is more centered on Peter Quill's two fathers because there is Ego, but there's Yondu. Yeah, the, the one who, who he was his raised biological him. dad. Yeah, the other one is the one who raised him. Yeah. And uh, volume three mm -hmm. is all about self realization. It's mm -hmm. all about the self. Yeah. And it was it is really great because we see all the characters finding themselves and um, growing. Like, and, growing mm -hmm. and learning from each other and uh, letting out the best of themselves and it is beautiful, it is great and you see the relationship w between Peter Quill and Gamora and Nebula, Drax and Mantis and then you see Rocket uh, through his past you, you get to learn why he is the way he is and he's confronted with with his past in the present it makes him make ch um, brave choices in confronting it yeah. and like get over it you know, like turning the page yeah you have to uh, face that. face your face fears. your fears yeah yeah in order in order to evolve so it was great it was great it's definitely great yeah yeah, I'm very happy with this movie. I'm I'm very happy. I love Cosmo, yeah. and I thought he was a male. He was a boy. I thought he was a boy too when I was yeah, reading the comic book. Yeah, male was a female. <laughs> so yeah, makes it cuter. Cos so I don't Cosmo, care. Cosmo is I don't great. mind. Cosmo is amazing. <laughs> Cosmo yes, is so good. Kind of badass <laughs> in yeah. certain scenes, you know, but it's great. A telekinetic dog, Russian, <laughs> yeah. Russian dog. So, she's a sweetheart. So, you got anything else to say? Yes. <coughs> subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to subscribe. our subscribe. channel. Lights, camera, super action. Hit the like button. Yes. And share our videos with everybody. We are also on Twitter and Facebook. So... This was Light Camera Super Action. See you next time. See you next time. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>